All right. So I just hit the record button. I meant to do that earlier, but that's okay. The rest of it's still on Facebook. Um, so welcome here. And again, I've got Homestead Sarah in Nebraska with us. Uh, we are live on Facebook. We're going to post this up on YouTube. And Homestead Sarah, hey, tell me, what's new on your homestead? Well, hi, everybody. So I service Omaha Council Bluffs, Sioux City area. And what is new on my homestead is that I am trying to kind of do a couple things. One is I'm going through all of my chickens and trying to determine which ones are going to be good for rent the chicken next year, which ones will be good breeders, which ones are possibly show chickens, because I do like to go and show chickens. Nebraska isn't having their show this year, but there are some surrounding states that are. And um, also I have, um, I one thing I do is I use a lot of herbs and I use a lot of things with my chickens to try to keep them healthy naturally without having to go towards medicine. And so I have been using that for, since I've had chickens, I've been doing that. And so I've kind of been coming up with my own packaging and line of uh, nesting box herbs and feed supplements and nice. like a no drink idea. supplement. Yeah, I've got a coop cleaner so that I use that's all natural based, but will also, you know, fight the germs as needed. But so yeah, I've got like jars of coop cleaner and yeah. So that's what wow. I do. That and that is really Egg exciting. So what is it's your favorite exciting. breed of show chicken since you brought that up? Um, I honestly, my heart is in those little Danvers. I just love them. They're just so personable. They're a little bantam blue quail Danver that I have. And I actually have a really nice line that I um, acquired from a gentleman um, down in South Carolina. And oh, so you went to South Carolina to pick up these show chickens? <laughs> No, you know, you can mail chickens. <laughs> <laughs> they come in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> they so, do. They do. And um, no, I had a very good line and I actually lost some to, I know I probably shouldn't say this, but I lost some to a predator because I didn't follow our own instructions <laughs> with them. That but happened, um, yeah. I had to re, I, so all of my line except for two are my own breeding at this point. So that's kind of cool and not somebody else's work. So I would be showing my own work this year. So that's, nice. that's what's exciting for me. So, and I just like to be able to offer the Omaha area, just a diverse amount of chickens, like just diverse amount of different breeds. And so that's just one thing I like to do. And I like to try to have the healthiest and best birds that I can. Okay. And peacocks. I've got a lot of peacocks this year. Peacocks. <laughs> So I've got about 40 peacocks on the property right now. Did you say 40, four, zero? Four, zero. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. All right. Yeah. Do you have any questions for me? I do have a question for you. I don't know. Let's see. All right. Here's my question. You've been given a giraffe. You can't give it away or sell it. What would you do with the giraffe? <laughs> what would I do with a giraffe? Oh, oh yeah, wow. we're so creative with chickens. Let's go. <laughs> well, you know, so that, that makes me think of, of something um, back in 2013, maybe it was 2014. I actually flew to Rwanda on a missions trip, and we went through a um, nature preserve, and I actually got to see wild giraffes. Uh, I saw wild giraffes, uh, hippos, um, it, wild elephant. Um, it was it was absolutely amazing. But I remember seeing these giraffes running through the the African um, plains and seeing the, the the zebras around them as well. And you know, I always thought like you know the Lion King movie where you see all this stuff happening was was maybe kind of made up, but no, it really is. You see the giraffes and the zebras and um, I, I think there are gazelles maybe or antelope. I don't know which, uh, I, I don't know the difference, um, but uh, going through and it was really is amazing. So, and then here in Western Pennsylvania, there's this, uh, this 
park up the road where you 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 go around different animals but they have giraffes and you get a hand feed them so uh, you pay like a buck or two you get some feed and uh, they're just big leaves i took my niece there from oregon she had flown out here and she got to feed the giraffes and they've got this tongue i don't know if you've never seen a giraffe's tongue maybe youtube it but it's really long and they just like sucked the leaf right out of her hand it was it was amazing so but what would i do with a giraffe um First, I, I would probably have to get a permit just to have it here. <laughs> um, but uh, I don't know. Can, can you put a saddle on a giraffe and ride them? Hey, it's your giraffe. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, I think it would just be, I, I would have to expand my homestead and maybe I might even have to move to a bigger farm uh, and then uh, invite people over to pet the giraffe, I guess. Maybe you could like loan it out to, I was trying to think if I were asked the question what I would do. Maybe you can like loan it out to like gutter cleaners, like clean people's gutters. Ooh, that's, you know what? Tree trimming. reach up there. Yeah. Huh. Or maybe put I'm like just a trying to think of unique. Put a huh? GoPro on their can, uh, on their head so you can see see their view. There. <laughs> Giraffes. <laughs> oh, what, do I need to go buy rentthegiraffe.com? Maybe. maybe. No, <laughs> I don't think I want to be able to do that. But that would be super cool. <laughs> okay, uh, got a question for you. All You've right. got six eggs. What you cooking? Well, what do you think I'm cooking? I'm making more chickens. <laughs> I put them in the incubator. Yeah, throw them in the incubator. <laughs> hey, for those of you that don't know, um, fertile eggs, you have to have a rooster to have fertile eggs, and those are the only ones you can hatch. Um, they, they, um, the chickens that we deliver for you to rent, uh, they haven't been around roosters, so there's no chance of fertile eggs, so you're not going to have baby chicks uh, from from the rent the chicken chickens, um, and uh, w what's the temperature that the uh, the incubator needs to be in order for the, for you to cook the chicks? Ninety nine point five degrees Fahrenheit, and what is it? Thirty seven point five Celsius. That's right, thirty seven point five Celsius. Yeah, so yeah, I, I guess you would be. Um, I don't know. I, I dehydrated some. You didn't tell me whose eggs. You didn't tell me whose eggs I was getting. If I had six of my own eggs, I'd just put them in the incubator. <laughs> I, I dehydrated some apples this week, and, and I, I had to dehydrate them a little bit warmer. 140 degrees is what apples need to be dehydrated at. So I guess, I guess you're not quite dehydrating the eggs. They're just warming up. Probably not with all that water that you add to it. <laughs> oh, my. Uh, Have you ever dehydrated eggs? I, I hear a lot of people yet. kind of do that and make them into powder for like the winter, like powdered milk and stuff, but. Oh, wow. You know, Homestead Jen actually took some eggs and she, um, she, she broke them into some cookie sheets. I, I don't know if she put anything in there first. Maybe she put some, uh, some muffin things in there. Um, sorry, muffin pans. She broke them into muffin pans <laughs> and she froze them because, you know, as you know, chickens slow down their egg production in the winter. And we always have this issue with never having enough eggs for her to make all her pumpkin rolls and stuff like that. So right now we've got a freezer probably with uh, three or four dozen eggs. Um, and then she would break three eggs into a bowl. She would scramble them. She throws them into a Ziploc and then she throw, put those in the freezer. Uh, the three eggs is what she needs for a recipe. I'm not sure what it is, but whatever she's gonna make is gonna be amazing. Right? <laughs> huh, I've never actually preserved my eggs like that, but I probably should have because I'm getting like three a day. <laughs> so how many eggs a day are you getting right now? Cause I'm only getting like three out of like well, 200 chickens. <laughs> Today I went out and I picked up um, six coops from, from people. Um, so they rented all summer and now is their pickup time. I picked up six. So I have no idea how many eggs I'm going to get out of those. There were probably out of those six, 12, 18, probably about 20 or 28 
uh, chickens in there. Um, before that, we really haven't had a lot on our homestead because they all got rented out. I mean, we were we were sold out here in Western Pennsylvania. Uh-huh. So, um, but I do know that typically right now, um, we start to get phone calls from some renters, usually ones with Easter eggers, like Easter eggers, like October comes and they like, I'm done. Um, but the, uh, mm-hmm. the red stars and, uh, the leghorns, they're, they're just crazy and, and they're still, uh, going, going, uh, heavy. Oh, what's this? Hey. <laughs> it's a surprise appearance Better from Homestead Jen. Hey, Hi, Jen. for a big announcement. Oh, oh, what's the announcement? Well, we... Are sponsoring you want me to say it yes we're sponsoring a chicken trot not a turkey trot. A 5k chicken trot does her ear oh that's her bluetooth lighting up i thought she had like light up earrings on <laughs> for a second um that'd be super 5K awesome chicken trot and fun run so you can walk it you can run it I feel like I just ran it. I think the kitty wants it. Now she just heard me get home. I, I think if we do it, I'm gonna. I might have to hold a chicken while I do it. Oh my! Oh my! That would slow me down. <laughs> I have so a leash. Anyway. Can I walk it with my chicken? Yeah, <laughs> it's a fun run, a fun walk, and we'll have some more details to follow. But it nice. is the. Um, it is the. And we're sponsoring. Um, the proceeds go to Coops for Troops, um, who is brought to you by Coop Dreams. Yeah. So we're super stoked. We will be able oh, to post nice. the link real soon. But I know we were planning on we've yes. we finally have a shirt design. So did we we ordered some shirts? We ordered a couple shirts. Oh yeah. I can't wait. And we have a lot of people who've already said that they have uh, wanted to um join me because I've been running lately. Um, like fake running, I like run like crazy for 15 seconds and then I walk for 15 seconds, but my times are pretty, pretty great. And, um, and so I had said, I want someone to do a 5k race with me. And then we decided why not just host our own 5k. So it's a virtual race. You don't have to actually come here. Everyone gets to do it on their own. So yeah, there will be dates that you have to run it by. I think it's going to be like November 1st through the 8th, I think is Probably something like doing. that yeah still, Maybe the week still after. working out the exact details so we'll provide a link when we have it on how to register and um and how to sign up to get your free shirt or it's not your free shirt but it comes with registration yeah so i i better uh, see i better see some omaha represented come on guys yeah. we can do this Bring come on, it. You know you, yes yeah so anyway, I know that, um, you know, we, we have a time limit on how long we're on here, but I wanted to pop in. I hurried home as fast as possible from seeing Levi, and I did catch some of your conversation on the road. Did you have anything to add to the draft comment, Jen? Um, I did um, say, talk to text, we need, if we get one draft, we should get a second draft. Oh. I think you can't just have one draft. That'll go honest. great with the two goats we're getting. We're not getting goats. Despite the I, rumor. I, I think that that's what you said last week. <laughs> <laughs> Homestead Sarah, thank you so much for joining us. And um, we, uh, we're going to try, we're, we're trying to do this as often as we can. So uh, Facebook fans, YouTube fans, check back. Um, Homestead Sarah, do you have any parting words that you'd like to leave everybody with? Um, no, but for people in Omaha, I have got something for you. So be in touch real soon with that, with a special deal for you. Okay. And (laughs) don't wait too long to reserve. Yep. My deal expires October 31st. So they have to reserve the hatch the chicken by then. Nice. They want it for the spring. So. And I know you were almost pulled out with hatch the chicken this year. So. You it was crazy busy. I most loved it. Likely be sold out this year, probably as early as the end of January. So don't wait to get in touch with us. So that's right. All right. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Have a great day and we will see you again soon. All right.